Welcome back to Sport on 7. I'm Tom Bushell. Now, just to look ahead to Sport on 7 next week, we'll be chatting to all the stars that have been in the UAE for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the likes of Johnny Herbert, Ian Walker and Olympic Team GB gold medalist Jessica Ennis will be chatting about their time here and, of course, their recent achievements. Back to this week, though, and the 2012 Samson Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup has been taking place. The tournament sees the best teams from each continent compete over five days. Russia are the current world champions, Switzerland European champions and the UAE. Well, they are getting better all the time. I've been down to Festival City to take it all in. The 2012 Beach Soccer Intercontinental Cup has once again been staged in Dubai at a brand new venue at Festival City. Dubai is no stranger to this form of football and for beach soccer worldwide, they believe Dubai is now the home of the sport. Gabino, thanks for chatting to me. Well, here we are again in Dubai for the, for the Beach Soccer Inter Intercontinental Cup. Dubai really has adopted this sport, hasn't it? And it, it loves holding beach soccer tournaments, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think it's been a great time here. Uh, obviously, the the, the big moment was uh, with, the, with the FIFA Soccer World Cup in 2009, but uh, these uh, two years, last year and this year with the Intercontinental Cup, I think that we are, we are you know, maintaining the momentum of this sport here in UAA, so it's fantastic. What does Dubai do so well when it hosts these big beach soccer tournaments? Because, like you say, the World Cup was such a big success in 2009 and both the Intercontinental Cups since then. What does Dubai do right? Well, besides the perfect organization and the great involvement of all the, all the authorities and, uh, and you know, and the, the staff from Dubai Sports Council, uh, I think that the, the, you know, the welcoming that the, 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 the locals provide to, to, the, to the players, to the, to the event, is something that is fantastic. So that's why, as an organization and also the players, are happy to come down here and, and to to enjoy such a great tournament. And the fact that the Intercontinental Cup has finished here in Dubai, we now look ahead to the World Cup in Tahiti in September 2013. Obviously, some big teams will always be the favourites, the likes of Russia and Switzerland and Brazil, but the UAE are always getting better, aren't they? And they have the perfect surroundings to, to practice and get better all the time. I mean, definitely. I think that 2000, September 2013 would be a great opportunity, you know, to to, to at least to finish in the in the top four for UAE, I think that this is something that is really possible after uh, you know what we have seen here, etc. So I, I think that they just need to work, but harder than the rest because everyone is working very hard. <laughs> Brazil, the most successful beach soccer side, have seen the dominance of the sport head to the likes of Russia and Switzerland. But that doesn't mean they are not competitive. Brazil are once again in Dubai and do like the trip here. Kuga, thanks so much for speaking to me. Dubai is a wonderful place to play beach soccer, isn't it? Even though we're in the middle of a sandstorm at the moment, generally it's a good place for the sport. Yes, uh, Dubai is the, we can call the city of uh, beach soccer in Asia. No, uh, this is uh, been here many times ago, and uh, this is all all the time. It's pleasure to 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 come back here, the, the place, and uh, I hope to 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 back again all the time. Now, I know you coached in Bahrain for some years, and Marcello, another Brazilian, is now in the UAE. What brings you guys over to the Middle East? Why do you come here all the time? Yes, this is uh, because Brazil is the uh, beginning of beach soccer. You know, and, you know, all the people uh, in Brazil play beach soccer, and also the coach, you know, and the, the Bahrain. Uh, I was there since 2006, you know, and the 2011 I, I back to Brazil when the Confederation invite us to, to be coach uh, of Brazil, but uh, this is uh, many many countries you know uh, call the coach of Brazil because they, for to develop in the sport all in around the world. Do you find it a little bit bizarre that some of the most successful beach soccer teams these days are from places where there aren't any beaches? For instance, Switzerland. They've really grown into the sport, haven't they? So, what's it going to take for the likes of Brazil to get back on top? Yes, this is Brazil. Uh, now this we are trying to renew some players, you know. But uh, the, also the other teams improve too much, you know, so much. And like is as you told you, Switzerland, Russia, you know. And we hope uh, continue this this work 
you know, to develop uh, uh, beach soccer in Brazil, also to, to, to back Brazil on the top because this is our place, you know, and we don't want to, to, to take out more anytime, you know, and we hope to, to take Brazil on the top and uh, to work the next World Cup. In, uh, I hope to be there and uh, to be first and uh, five times champions in the world. Well, you talk about that World Cup in Tahiti, of course, September next year. Now, how do you rate the UAE's chances for getting to that tournament? Because under Marcello now, they really do hope for big things in the future. Yes, the UAE is, is, is the muscle on, of strong teams in the the Asia. You know, I I I have I had opportunity to 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 to, to play many times with Bahrain. You know, UAE all the time is is favorite to to go to World Cup. You know, and I hope to UAE go because that is very very good job. You know, and also for the the coach. You know, the players they are very strong players. You know, the group is together since five years ago, four years ago. You know, they know how to play with soccer. This is different for the some teams in Asia. You know, and I'm sure UAE will be in the next World Cup. In, Inshallah. The UAE have been backing beach soccer for many years now and for the coach Marcelo Mendez he is beginning to see the hard work pay off. The UAE finished third in this tournament and are now looking to the future. Marcelo there's been some huge tournaments for beach soccer here in the UAE. It must be so nice as the coach of the UAE side to, to see beach soccer loving Dubai and these big tournaments being staged here. No, I think it's uh, Dubai is a perfect and great venue for uh, for to play beach soccer, so uh, we started in 2006 to, to to do some events here. So and I think year after year it's becoming big, bigger, bigger and bigger. So Dubai is perfect. I, I I'm sure all the teams love to be here to play. Do you think that the the fact that beach soccer loves coming to Dubai really inspires the UAE guys to play beach soccer? And obviously a fantastic place to be located to play beach soccer all the year round. But do you think that really inspires the players to get better and better and the UAE side can grow and grow and keep getting better? Yeah, you know, if you if you think about the, the events that uh, Dubai Sport Council uh, uh, are doing in the in the in, in Dubai. So for, for my players, for all players, it's amazing because we play big tournaments against big teams always. So of course for the players it's a big, big challenge and they are very happy to play at home. And of course, as you say, playing against those big teams like Russia and Switzerland, as you have done over the last week, they're the tests that you need ahead of the World Cup in Tahiti next September. Qualifiers in January in Doha, I believe. What are your hopes for that World Cup? Can you get there? I hope so. Uh, you know, last year we was very, very close to get. So we have, you know, I always say that uh, in Asia, we have four or five teams to fight for three spots in the uh, in the World Cup, so we are confident. We are making a very good preparation. This tournament will give a very good feedback for me about the players, about some new players we have in the team. So I'm pretty confident that we can uh, we can get something that we lost uh, last qualification. Best of luck getting to Tahiti, September 2013. Obviously, you were at the 2009 World Cup because Dubai hosted it. So we hope you can get to another one and, uh, and progress from where you are now. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you very much. And uh, I want to, to ask the people to come and support the beach soccer here in UAE in general, not only in Dubai. We have uh, some couple of tournaments outside Dubai also. It's amazing sports, spectacular scores, nice players, very good technique. So they will like, if they come, they will like for sure. There's no excuses, is there? Because we have the best beaches and a great weather as well. Of course, yes. So uh, if you come here and nice music, nice entertainment during the breaks. So they will enjoy. Everybody that comes to, to, to watch beach soccer will enjoy for sure. The Intercontinental Cup is confirmed to be staged in Dubai until at least 2017. Good luck to the UAE in getting to the World Cup in Tahiti in September in 2013. And well done to Russia for winning once again the Intercontinental Cup here in Dubai, beating Brazil. It's been a fantastic tournament. Looking for some tennis tips. Like Novak, do you want to be the world number one? Well, if so, these guys at Tennis 360 Academy will help you out. Hi, I'm Lalo from Tennis 360 at Maidan Tennis Academy. We're here today to tell you some fitness tips. Here is Thoran, he's gonna help us today, okay? As you can see, we have four mini pizzas 
That is how we call them here in Tennis Academy. We have the yellow one, we will start from this one, and we have the space between them of six meters. From here and another six meters to the next one. The same for those ones. Now, Soran is going to show us the first movement. The first movement is going to be shuffle movement, really taking his hips down. Can you show us, Soran? He will finish with a forehand shadow. Perfect. Now, the next step is a sprint to the third spot, okay? There you go, really low, and now he's going to move shuffle to the left again and finish with a backhand shadow. That's it, perfect. Have you seen the follow through? That's what we want. We will finish with a back pedal, okay? Now Thoran is going to show us the drill at 80% uh, of the speed, okay? Let's go Zoran. You can notice he's taking down his hips. That is what we want for this drill to take control of our body. That's the tip for today. Thank you. You'll be a pro in no time. Thank you guys. More from Tennis 360 in the coming weeks. Still lots to come on Sport on 7 this week.